DK Geeks. What's up, everybody? This is Lynn once again coming at you. Um, yesterday I put out my uh, loot gaming box. Today I have for you a couple things. Another Amazon purchase. It's the Final Fantasy VII Advent Children Complete Edition. Now I've been holding off getting this. I originally got this on DVD. Recently got it. It was cheap. It was under ten dollars. So that's pretty cool. Also, I got some. Big Bad Toy Store pre-orders come in, so I'm going to get right into it. Now, some I originally had all of them on pre-order, but because this week's a heavy week with Gears 4, I had to take a little bit of a break off of some of the things, so the other ones I will get at a later date, but I kept the two that I thought, well, three I should say, because if you look behind me, there's Marcus. And behind, on the other end, are the Golden Lancer Comic-Con exclusives. I got two of those from when I went to the GameStop Expo. So to go with them, I have the Locust drone with a hammer burst. And with him, I got Clayton Carmine, which for some reason, out of my gears, he's the only one I don't have a normal size gear of. I just have him in the three quarter inch. But that's gonna have to hold me over until I can find one of a decent, reasonable price. Love to have a Clayton Carmine, but second, third party sellers tend to put him a little too high for my beans. But the big thing about this is my Gears of War Loot Crate, which of course is a one time thing, so we don't have to worry about it. And for some reason, my mailman came really early, about 11 a.m., and rang my doorbell with his baby. So we're gonna get right into it, and then we could see what's inside. I really, this is heavy, and it's of course first things huge. We have a a, a two-sided. Coalition sweatshirt hoodie and on the back is JD Phoenix. I wonder if he, <laughs> so it's a little on the not that heavy side, which is good because we do have a couple cold fronts come in. So I might get away with wearing that at least once or twice a year. That looks sharp. I, I mean, let's see. There's two. We got two things we could wear. Now we have a Gears of War 4 shirt with a play on red versus blue with two lancers and three skulls. This is badass. I'm actually going to wear it on Friday when the game gets to me so that way I'm ready to go. And I will be streaming some of it with campaign. <laughs> Alright, make that three things we get to wear. I have a pair of Gears of War socks, which for some reason the loot, the the company BioWorld that does these, awesome company. Saw them at the expo, got in contact with them. Have to send them some paperwork on AK Geeks, so I'm hoping to do some reviews on some of their stuff. But their stuff is quality work. These are the same people who did the Fallout socks and the Doctor Who socks and a couple others, but they're really great quality socks. And uh, they do other things besides socks as well. Up next we have... <laughs> what is this? What is this? Uh oh. A tumbler. With the Crimson Omen. Very sharp. Very nice. Let's put this back. I'm surprised it wasn't wrapped in something else besides just the box. It was just like that as is, but um, very sharp nonetheless. That's item number four. Up next, let's see what we got. Let's see, let's see. Something in. Jeez, they they, they hooked it up when it comes to getting dressed in the morning. <laughs> Besides a pair of pants and a pair of underwears, we're set to go with gear stuff. We have a 
blue. I guess JD's logo, I'm gonna call it for him that right now, because it's the cog with the phoenix. So, and then, there it is. Looking nice and feels real good, but once again, this is something that, <laughs> unless we go somewhere cold, I won't be wearing a lot of. There's scully caps in Florida. Yo. Alright, black box, cog, simple with the crimson omen, but oh. Ooh, these are sharp. There's four pins in here. I don't know if I can get this close enough for you guys. But there's one of the Crimson logo. There's one of JD Phoenix. And then I guess the other two would be. I, I, I would go ahead and take an assumption and say this is the Outsider logo. And of course, this is the typical villain logo. It sort of looks like something from the Locust. But with the Swarm, it could be, different. It could be a change up on that. Up next, I didn't really pack this box though. Oh, whoa, this is this one's a lot bigger than the last one. Very nice. I like it. As you can see, the last one I put right here. I don't know if you can see it because of the twins, but it's right there. This one looks like it's a little bit larger. Yeah, he's he's larger. And but Nothing different. On the base itself, it says Gears of War 4. And we put this. This is also a harder plastic than the one that came in the loot gaming box. Because for some reason, that one was like a cardboard type material. And this really, yeah. So this one's a little bit larger and it's actually got the wood handle. So this is based on the Gears of War 4 Lancer. And as you can see there, there's the flashlight add-on. So this is definitely JD's Lancer for sure. So we got Papa. Because this one's huge. And we'll put that one right there. So it covers the twins. But nonetheless. Very sharp, love it. As I said, I pre-ordered the Lancer that's being worked on by PDP, so I'm looking forward to that. Let's see what else, because there's still more in here. This, this is this cardboard. Nope, nope, this is... Welcome to Settlement 5. Founding our future one settlement at a time. So I guess this is the COG sending out invitations to citizens of Sarah. And it goes into see I love stuff like this. I can I can the lore itself is awesome. Important safety information. I'm trying not to look too much into it because avoid spoilers if it has anything to do with the campaign. So that's that's pretty sharp. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items already. There's still more to come. And what do we got here? We have all right, loot crate. This is nice, and, and this is going to be my least favorite thing. But these tin things have got to stop. I don't like the tin things. The picture is nice though. I would prefer a regular picture, but not really anything you can hang it off. And it's not like it's one of those license plates that you can fit into a holder or, or anything like that. So this, trying to find a spot for it. So this is, I guess, one of the cities that's controlled by the cog. And that's the wall. And that you can see the outside of Sarah just going through storms and eruptions and things like that. Pretty sharp. My least favorite thing just because of the, what it's made out of. I would prefer a larger picture, 
something I could frame better than, than the tin. Alright, what's next? What do we have here? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Here's the Gears Crate pin. It's another Lancer. Very nice. It's actually the Golden Lancer. It's actually better than the one that I got that was given out at E3. Is the one at E3 looks orange. And here we have a tower of some sort in the city of in one of the cities. And of course, on the back, they talk about all the items that are on it. So this is just one more piece of lore for me because I just gotta usually I frame and put up everything when it comes to gears. Uh, I think that's my cue of saying that's it. Yeah, so here's the inside of the box. Like the Halo box, it's, it's, let's see, let's do this real quick. There's the supply crate that you drag around and you open up and you get certain items. In the game itself, it'll have cards and things like that that you'll be able to supply yourself in between multiplayer matches. But in horde mode, you carry the sucker around with your team, place it in a safe spot and start building things throughout the map to last, to survive through horde. But that's, you know, the Gears of War loot crate edition box, Gears of War 4 I should say. So we have the tin, once again, the poster explaining everything, the book that welcomes you to Settlement 5, the JD size Lancer, the very nice glass tumbler size, the pins which are awesome and I can't wait to put them on my lanyard, the socks, because everyone needs socks. The pre-order bonus pin, which is awesome. This is only exclusive to those who pre-ordered in time, which pretty much would be anybody who paid for the box. Then we have the shirt, which is pretty sharp. I didn't think I was going to be able to Gears of War, Gears of War 4 shirt, but I, I always find a way. And I'm looking forward to wearing this on Friday, on Gears Day. And then we have the giant two-sided hoodie, which has the Coalition logo and JD on the back, which is awesome and it's not too heavy. So I appreciate that loot crate. And then we have the beanie. And that's the entire loot crate edition for Gears of War 4. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me just put this down right here. I don't, I don't need to close it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys will catch us in our next video. And as well as follow the podcast. Like us on right here on YouTube. Follow our Facebook page. There's actually, I tweeted out a blog post about Sean Mooney Help picking the next movie of the week. Since we're, this is October, we're doing a month of horror films. So go ahead and hit that up and see, you know, what movie do you think we should do on his solo outing of Movie of the Week. And like always, until next time, catch you on the dark side. AK Geeks.